Hey guys, Fallon Davis here. It's February 20th and you are watching No Filter. So with the recent sexual harassment cases pinned on celebrities in the media, it was only a matter of time before a film submerged documenting a public figure sexually harassing one of their peers. And what's a better public figure than the President of the United States who sexually harasses his interns? Hoping to air his latest series on the 90s Bill Clinton impeachment, Director Ryan Murphy says the series will not document Bill Clinton's relationship with his former intern, Monica Lewinsky, but instead would like to keep what was accomplished by the Clinton administration at the time, the main focus of the film. I think our take on it is interesting. Our take on it is really, I don't even think the Clintons need to be huge parts of that story. It's about the birth of a specific movement in our country. Yeah. That's what we're interested in. But yeah, we're, we're working on the scripts now and I think they're really good. The series is based on CNN legal analyst Jeff Tubin's book, The Vast Conspiracy. And according to the New York Times, critics feel the book is, mm, you know, Democrat bias and blames the political opponents on the right. The Times also called the book highly partisan and willfully subjective, saying that Tubin ignored Clinton's failure in his constitutional duty to uphold the rule of law. A film about the investigation into Bill Clinton's impeachment without the addition of the Lewinsky scandal would be ludicrous and incomplete, or the sexual harassment lawsuit filed against Clinton by Paula Jones. Is that story even an option, or will we even see that? Of course, Ryan will expose every detail to make the story interesting, but I feel the meat of the story is the Lewinsky scandal and how it all went down. I mean, that's what I want to hear. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like, you know, I don't want to watch a story about the Clintons unless Lewinsky's in it. So the bottom line is, is that we need to tell the truth about our stories, our historical past. And uh, I think people would be really interested in Matt Lauer's story and Katie Couric. I would love to see a documentary on that. So this is not the time to ignore sexual harassment stories. And I doubt Ryan wants any problems with, the, with abuse women out there or women that have went through this. So, you know, always get your head in the game because focusing on the birth of a specific movement, you know, it doesn't just involve our government, but it involves the women, the daughters, the mothers, and sisters, too, not just the politics of the boardroom.